I'm Kevin Berger. For 100 years, the Minneapolis Foundation has connected people, charitable resources, and ideas to enrich the community. The Foundation manages more than $700 million in assets through 1,200 charitable funds to address the unique challenges of our growing community. Teresa Morrow is Vice President of External Relations for the Minneapolis Foundation, and she joins us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Give us a little, uh, a bit of the story of the Minneapolis sure. Foundation as it turns 100. Sure. Well, the Minneapolis Foundation is one of the oldest community foundations in the nation, and a community foundation is somewhat unique. It's place-based, which means that it brings together people, resources, and ideas to make that specific place better for everyone who lives there. Now we talked about some of the the amount of money that uh, the, the foundation has. Where has that money come from? Well it's come from a variety of sources most notably from generous Minnesotans. So over our hundred year span we have distributed about 850 million dollars. So it's been a pretty significant impact on our community. Now I understand last year alone eighty million dollars mm -hmm. distributed. So how does that money filter and percolate through the sure, community? Sure. So we actually have six focus areas right now that help guide our work. So we um, give to areas that are in the arts, education, environment, economic vitality, civic engagement, and health. So with those focus areas in place, you really are able to touch all the specific issues of a community, but I think what's been key to the success of the foundation is they've always been very responsive and nimble, so as new needs arise, they're able to respond. So how have those needs changed over the first hundred years mm -hmm. of the foundation? It's pretty fascinating. You can see, for example, World War II, Pearl Harbor bombing. Mm -hmm. um, the Minneapolis Foundation was one of the first to rush funds to the um, Red Cross to mm -hmm. support that. During the early 70s, we put up the funding for a very innovative campaign for uh, desegregation of our Minneapolis schools. Hmm. We partnered with the St. Paul Foundation to launch one of the nation's first AIDS awareness, public awareness campaigns. More recently, uh, when there were tragedies here in the community, the 35W bridge collapse or the North Minneapolis tornadoes, Minneapolis Foundation was on the ground, first out there with dollars to assist those who were most in need. Where has this money come from all these years? Well, th it started with five residents of Minneapolis who felt that by pooling their resources, they could have a greater impact on the community than they could have alone. And I think that has been a tradition that's been carried on today. About 1,200 funds sit at the Minneapolis Foundation, and we always say we're a place that can make a donor's giving go further. So individuals of means who don't want to like set up their own foundation and all the administrative costs they go through the Minneapolis Foundation. Exactly, and and even people who you wouldn't think of as means. One of the best stories, I think we have a, had a donor, Emma Howe. She came from a very poor family. She worked as a proofreader for mm -hmm. Deluxe Check. She um, ended up being one of their largest stockholders, never had children. She left her stock to the foundation. And today that money, which has been reinvested and reinvested by the foundation, has um, resulted in distributions of over $100 million to help wow. kids in our community. That's inspiring. Yeah. You have something going very quickly, one wish, yes. uh, a birthday wish. Can you tell us yep. about that a little bit? We're inviting the public to join us and tell us what they wish for for the future of Minneapolis. They can go to our website and share a video wish, or they can tweet it to us. And we have everybody from Dessa to Walter Mondale to Vikings football players who have left us wishes. And we encourage people to visit and take a look at what others are wishing for inspiring uh, as we head into the next 100 years for the foundation. Thank you so much for joining Thanks, us Kevin. and congratulations Thank on you. the accomplishments of the Minneapolis Foundation. To learn more about their programs, investments, and special events, or to find out how you can cast your wish, go to minneapolisfoundation.org. And that's it for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Kevin Berger. Thanks for watching.